Well, I think as we've seen, it's, uh, it's, it's been a tough pitch for both teams, um, especially in our first innings when we had bowled. Um, you know, uh, they opened the batter exceptionally well, not an excellent knock, uh, which basically got them the score that they, that they, that they got to. So it's a tough wicket. Um, you've got to you know, try and capitalize on the loose balls when you do get them, uh, and certainly hope that the uh, ball doesn't have your number on it, either whether it, you know, caught behind or whatever the case is. Uh, but you've always got to have intent when you're batting. Well, it's always going to be home ground advantage. I mean, you know, the Sri Lankans, as, as you said, has got some quality spinners. Uh, and we've been blessed as well that our spinners have done exceptionally well on these on these wickets. So that's that's how it is. Uh, that's uh, When you come to South Africa, it's difficult wickets uh, that help seam bowling. And yeah, it helps the spinners. So yeah, it's just part and parcel of it. Yeah, this is 272 on that type of wicket is a lot of runs. Uh, if we can manage to, to restrict them under, I say, 320, um, then certainly that would be a good target for us. So at least if you get a couple of good partnerships and, and one of us play at innings like Goratna played, uh, that will get us close to that score. The way that everybody played, I must be honest with you, I think they, they applied themselves as best as they can. As I said, both team, batters from both teams uh, have found it difficult to bat, barring one or two batters. Uh, so, going into the second innings, you've got to keep playing with good intent um, and you keep learning. Um, as I said, we, we've, we've played on conditions like this before and the scores are low scoring games. You don't get scores of 350, 400, 550 and that type of stuff on wickets like this. These are scores of, of 250, 200, that type of thing. So, you've, you do take some learning from it, but also you've got to, uh, and you've got to play the way the pitch allows you to play. Yeah, definitely. I mean, any, any of the batsmen in the top six, uh, we would love to, to occupy the crease for a long time, uh, and score the runs, get us close to whatever total uh, we have to chase. So yeah, myself, Dean, uh, and everybody else, we want to obviously get stuck in and, and try and bat for as long as possible. Like most pitchers, you know, as the, de as the days go on, the de deterioration, occurs. So today it's fun a little bit more than, than yesterday. Um, and I suspect tomorrow, maybe if in the morning session after the roll has been on it, it might not spin as much and then it'll probably break up and, and spin more and more as the test match goes on. Two things, you've got to have good scoring options um, and, you, and you've got to have good defense. So you've got to try and uh, marry the two as best as possible and, and with an element of fortune here and there to, to get through to score big runs. Yeah, the ball turn. I mean, there were some good deliveries. I mean, if I look at Temba getting out, he played on, a shot was on. I mean, he's a very good sweeper of the ball. Um, a few other guys were really good balls that spun in. When you play in South Africa, you get the balls that beat the bat of the seamers when the ball nips, and here you get the ball that, that turns and bounces, and either you're going to get the edge or you play and miss as well. So good spinners and good, good bowlers, that's what happens when the, when the wicket does turn.